Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for January 9th of 2024 is titled Thor's Helmet. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the nebula known as the Helmet of Thor. And you can see the great winged helmet here, perhaps in space, actually made up of gases that were expelled by by what is known as a wolf Rayet star. Now these are extremely hot and among the most hottest and most massive stars that exist. And they're actually the types of stars that we expect to go supernova. So this is the pre supernova stage of that star. And as it becomes unstable, various parts are pushed off. So great stellar winds and these are extremely massive stars are very hot emitting a lot of energy and push out a lot of material. And that is what we see in our image today. We are seeing that material being expelled from the star and the patterns that it happens to form based on the details within the star and the nebula itself. So material continues to be expelled out. Now what this star is doing is building up to a supernova explosion. When will that happen? Well, we don't know. We know what has to happen at the center of the star for a supernova to occur, but we can't see into the center of the star. So we don't know exactly when that will happen. And what that what key thing that needs to happen is to build up a core of iron. We can get energy from nuclear fusion and often in stars that's fusing hydrogen into helium and then in later stages helium into carbon. Well you can continue to do that up to iron. Iron element number 26 in the periodic table is the most tightly bound nucleus. So and up to that point you can gain energy from fusion. But if you want to get any energy from heavier elements you have to use nuclear fission which splits elements apart. So once you get to iron, you can't get any energy by fusing things together. And essentially the core of the star will continue to get hotter. It will collapse and it will get hotter and hotter until there is enough energy to start fusing iron together. Well, I just said you can't get any iron, any energy from fusing iron and you can't. It actually takes energy. So as you begin to fuse that iron together, it becomes a runaway implosion. It cools off the center of the star because you're losing energy with every fusion reaction. And the core will then collapse more down, heat up and continue the process until it be completely implodes. So that core will just implode, collapsing everything downward and then eventually will stop. And that is when you condense down to about the density of an atomic nucleus. It becomes what we call a neutron star. And at that point, the supernova is believed to bounce and the material will then be expelled out into space. So what we're seeing is the precursor phase to that. This is what is happening just before. Now, will it become a supernova in a 100 years or a 1000 years or a 100,000 years is a good question. We don't know. We can't see into the interior of the star to see when it builds up that inner core of iron. But we do know that once it does, once it builds up that core of iron, we can talk about its lifespan in a matter of hours and not the typical bil millions or billions of years that we talk about for stars lives. So that was our picture of the day for January 9th of 2024. It was titled Thor's Helmet. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.